Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in South Wales, UK. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. It's absolutely free. Smash that like button to let everybody know that this is a, 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 a video that they might like to see. That's important. And um, just leave me a comment because I'll get back to many comments as possible. Okay, so today... I've got a scrap bit of cardboard I, I, that I previously did a painting on. I've just chucked a little bit of um, ground on that, gesso, whatever you want to call it, is fine. Um, and I just thought I'll just whip out a painting because I, there's something I want to talk about today. But before we do that, let's have a look at the palette. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So today we've got some ultramarine blue. I got some white, some red, and yellow. That's it. That's only the only colours I'm going to use because I, I have had a few questions saying, Clive, I've only got a few resources where I live, and um, you know I'm I'm limited to the amount of colours I can get and stuff like that. So, but I, I, it's just is just to go to show you that you can paint a, a lot of paintings with just primary colours and. Um, and I thought today I was going to do a snowman uh, of, of sorts um, because um, I just want to do another Christmassy card type of painting. And the reason I'm doing that today is because I want to give a big shout out to my friend Jason Bowen. And um, he's a very close friend of mine now. He's got a YouTube channel called Jason Bowen Art. So pop along there. I'll put a link in the description, link in the, in the iCards for you. And um, go and check his channel out. Um, but what Jason has done, he's actually done a painting. Um, he's done all his own illustrations. He's, 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 he's just a fantastic artist in his own right. And he, he's done a, a, a couple of books, actually. And the one book that I'm particularly thinking about at the moment is a children's book. And um, that's available on Amazon. Um, the link is in the description for you if you want to pop along there and buy your um, grandchildren or your children um, a fantastic, um, fantastic book that you can read to them at bedtime and about the snowman that's lost his nose. Love him. Yes. Um, and it's a fantastically well-written and illustrated book by... Uh, Jason and as I said he's a, he's a close friend of mine and I just wanted to do this in 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 a way that just say you know how, how much I appreciate what Jason has done for the YouTube community over the years by producing some wonderful works of art and you know with his with his Bob Ross type of techniques and his artwork and he, he, he does digital art and I just want I just I'm just just so in awe of Jason, he's inspired me so much over the years, and not just in art, but in my a whole life, in fact, with my fitness, my weight loss. Because when I first met Jason, I was I was quite heavy. I was 16 to 17 stone. Don't know what that is in pounds, because um, we don't do pounds. I, 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 I just work in stones in the UK. So I was about 16, 17 stone. I was quite heavy, unhealthy, unfit. And um, we were walking around London one day and I did a, um, a, a video. I asked Jason to do a video of me and I was always walking away from one of the museums because we, we were doing a collaboration at the time. And um, when I look back at the video, I realized how big and how unhealthy I looked and I wasn't happy at all. I wasn't a happy bunny, I was not. So that on its own, just that, that, just that little incident there inspired me to, 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 to go on and, and think I should change uh, my life and um, try and get a bit healthier, lose a bit of weight, which I did. I went, I went out and I lost a bit of weight. And um, we, over the, over the last couple of years, especially during COVID, Jason and I talk every single day um, via video link and... Um, We've inspired each other to, to get fit and we've both got multi gyms and things like that in the house that we, we can use and you know we, we talk about our exercise programs and he's a fantastic Tai Chi 
um, tutor as well. He teaches Tai Chi, and um, which is something I'd really like to do. But going back to the kids' book, I I I, I can't emphasise enough. I bought I bought um, one for my grandson, and I can't emphasise enough um, how well. Um, illustrated these books are I know how much work is involved in these things and um, I uh, phones always go off when you don't want them to so I do apologize for that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry that off with a hairdryer and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this may be a little bit of a quick painting today but that's good so we've done the background with a bit of blue and white there we go a bit of blue and white so that's I would say about semi dry. It's not it's not exactly dry. So I'm gonna get my old faithful my toothbrush. I'm gonna get my toothbrush. I'm just tapping it into some paint, and I'm, what I'm gonna do now is just flick that snow, wee like this, flick some snow just on there like that. I want to make this simple, as simple as possible. And I'm going to dry that again very quickly. Oh, hopefully that'll... Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> ho, 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 hopefully. <laughs> that should be dry. We're hoping it's dry enough. We are. Okay, so um, I've got a couple of different brushes I've been soaking around and playing with. So I thought, let's do a snowman. So first of all, I'm just going to start off with blue and white. Because... We just want to, we just want to paint a snowman. Because this snowman lost his nose, but in a very particular instance, this snowman has found his nose. Because one of those fantastic little children that the book has been bought for by the parents that have found the link in the video description has actually gone out and helped the snowman find his nose. So there you go. But please, 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 please check that book out and, you know, support Jason because Jason, Jason is like everybody else. We, we, we're all frustrated artists at the end of the day. And um, if, if there's a little bit of support that you can give someone and um, just make his Christmas, buy a couple of books and uh, make his Christmas for him. And uh, encourage him to go on and make some more books. Because I know he's publishing a book about Father Christmas at the moment. So yeah, please go on and support him. And when 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 we got people like that, are creative. And um, and sometimes we 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 struggle to 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 get things done, and we lose faith. And you know we when we when we when we try in hard to to learn to paint and stuff, and and. We don't seem to be getting anywhere. We just stop doing what we love, and um, it's a shame that we do we do that, you know. But we oh, we all need that little bit of support. We're all we're all artists, and we're all creators, and we've all got that creative mind, and we all understand how difficult it is sometimes to to um, to get a little break. Even sell one painting is 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 a fa is a fantastic thing, and it's enough sometimes to. To make you continue painting because so many people over the years have just stopped painting because um, they haven't had the encouragement or you know if, if they wanted to sell paintings and they haven't been able to sell paintings for whatever reason and you know it 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 it, it can actually affect you and it's what it's a wonderful thing to do is is to um to enjoy your painting so so what we're going to do now we're going to increase the white because we've just put a bit of blue in when, and the shadow. So all we're doing now is just creating a sphere. And, and we've been putting a couple of different tones in like this. We're just trying to create that, that snowball look. We're just trying to create that snowball look. And then just getting a bit of brighter white in like this. And as I said... Have fun, relax, just enjoy, just enjoy painting. Painting is just 
a form of relaxation and we and I think it's I use it a lot to to de-stress and I just love sometimes just painting and having fun and not not painting anything in particular for all you know, for any reason and I think if you can do that then you become creative and that's what Jason does he be, he's a very creative person as we all are as are all our uh, all us artists are very creative people so I'm just going to put a bit more brightness into this snowman just like this before I dry it off again um, before I do that I'm just going to get a, a detail brush and I'm just going to get a little bit of black I added a little bit of black to my palette by the way I added a bit of black I want to put a I want to put a I want to put an eye in because he, he, he's, he's got a call for his eyes so this is just a bit of call for an eye there we go so I know where his eye is and we can put a a couple of lumps of coal in for his big smiley mouth like that I don't know how Jason's done his snowman but my snowman looks like this you got a couple of buttons coming down very simple Something the children can pay, play with over Christmas and get them and encourage them to, 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 to paint. Encourage them to paint. A little bit of red and yellow. A little bit of red and yellow. And let's, let's just get a, a scarf. Like this. You got a end of his scarf coming down, just like that. Bit of a knot at his scarf. There we go. <laughs> it's looking it's very snowman like a touch of black just on the tip of my brush just put a little bit of shadow just in there like that There we go. Just increase that red. Get a little bit of yellow. Just a bit of highlight. There you go. See? That's all you need. Just a couple of colours. Just a couple of colours. Just like that. So there's a the snowman. He's lost his nose. And um, little Jack has come along now, Jason. Little Jack has come along. I think, I, I don't know what your characters are called. And he stuck his nose back on. Because his nose was a carrot. There we are. His nose was a carrot. We've just stuck his nose back on just like that so please 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 pop along and have a look at jason's book and um you know pick it up it makes wonderful reading for um the children at christmas especially this time of year and it's something they can keep it's something they can keep and read every single season when Father Christmas comes along and
brings our presence for us because we've been really good children. So there's my little snowman. There's my rendition of Jason's book, The Snowman That's Lost His Nose. So what we're going to do is going to put a, a bit of snow just on the top of his nose, like that. A bit more snow just on the top of his head. A bit more snow on the top of his belly, just there, like that. And then just a little bit of snow, oops, just a little bit of snow, just catching the top of his scarf, just like that. And there's my snowman that's got red snow. <laughs> there's a little bit of shadow, there's a little bit of colour shadow. See, there's a car, that's what they call a car shadow, but well, it is now, it's a car shadow. There we are, a bit, a bit of snow on the top of his buttons like that. A bit more snow on top of his head. And there's my rendition of Jason's book, The Snowman That's Lost His Nose. And we're just going to put a few more snowdrops coming in to the painting. Please pop along to Jason's channel check out his videos check out his book pick up that book make his make his christmas and keep him creative so thank you very much for joining me in the studio today um like comment share and subscribe and all that stuff and i'll see you next time Bye bye